Good afternoon. Yay. We're so glad you're here. We, we daily vlog. vlog. Hey. I say that. But you. I do. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Oh wait, no, you say that. I say. I that. just say good morning because I'm not confident enough to say that, <laughs> to say any more of it. Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come on back tomorrow. Also, also, also. Oh, wow, good afternoon from Joe and Ashley from See You Real Soon. They're a live stream right now. Check them out if you've never. I don't know how you would not have found them if you watch us because they're like the, the golden they're the golden standard from <laughs> Disney vlogs. Yeah. Peter's gonna go get this is my fresh girl. dance. You should wear this for Easter. I'll wear a different outfit for Easter. <laughs> this is the most put together I've been in four weeks, and I feel so good. Now go get groceries for Easter, and I'll edit the vlog. I just had to show this because it's just very pretty to see blue skies. I promised Sarah we'd go for a drive later because she hasn't gotten out during the day in a while. So we are gonna go for a little drive later after I'm done on the adventures. It exists. Kite Hill vegan ricotta cheese. I don't know how much, we need a lot of it, I think. I need to call Sarah, but that's $10 a, a go. I gotta call Sarah and see. Ooh, one very big and very long trip to Whole Foods later. We are ready for Easter. I even got Sarah a vegan donut to snack on when I get home. Poor Evie hasn't moved since Peter left. She's just waiting for him. You're so loyal. Side note, it looks like it's gonna rain. Like an after classic afternoon Florida rain. And that is really good news because we really need it here. Fingers crossed. All right, now we're at the Target by Millennia. Um, exclusively coming here for vitamins, prenatals specifically for Sarah. She ran out of the two pills or she ran out of one and she's about to run out of the other. So it's pretty essential. We need that because we need a good, healthy little bean sprout. So running in should be super quick and painless. In and out, real good, real safe. Then heading home. All right, target visit, check. Clearly you can tell I got more than Sarah's prenatals. Um, I forgot that I needed to pick up oil. And then I promised Eve since I was leaving and she's got such a, her separation anxiety is at an all time high that I promised her I'd get her a treat. And then I happened to see the wafer cookies. Sarah loves those, so I picked up those. So, you know, just your traditional going into Target and then getting way more than you need or planned. Now, we head towards home. I have to stop at Publix on the way home to look for fake mozzarella cheese because the mozzarella cheese at Whole Foods did not have milk in it, but it had milk protein, which is a casein, which is really the one thing I don't like about milk. Like if milk didn't have casein in it, I'd probably eat cheese, milk, like real cheese, real butter and all that stuff. But it's the casein that I don't like about it. So that was weird to see like an almond, almond mozzarella style cheese, but with casein protein in it. College Park Publix for the win. Vegan mozzarella slices and shredded. But look guys, look at that line right there. This Publix is by far the best social distancing structured um, store I've been to. They had stickers everywhere for six feet. They have people outside forcing you to stop there. They don't a lot let you walk in until you know they know there's a path to get you in without somebody leaving. And then they even have they even have directional set up in the aisles so that all the aisles are one way, so you don't have two people crossing each other. So that's super clever. I'm not sure that's all Publix or just this College Park Publix. But if it is the College Park Publix, super kudos to you and your management. And if it's all Publix, super kudos to all of Publix. But now I get to go home. All the shopping is done. I'm home. Easter. How long? I was gone like... You were gone for like hours. Three hours. It's almost six. I know. Saturday's done. No, it's not. Know, it's only just beginning. Um, look at all that. Groceries and Easter's galore. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have a lot of pasta in the next couple of days because it's just us. 
I made nachos. With the specialty cheese that just was supposed to be little, saved just for tomorrow. A little bit. Just a tiny bit. It's supposed to be Look saved for yours. tomorrow. And I made a burrito slash crunch up supreme style with some chips in there to get some crunch. Also, you want to hold up what we got, Eve? We're about to give her one of these. We got her frou frou wet food. She's never, like, how many times? She, and She's got, had it, I think, twice. Yeah. Like, she does never, she never gets it, so. So we're about to That's give her one. She's holiday. about to go nuts. One today, two tomorrow. Do you want one? Do you want this? See what it is. Wow. What do you think? Yeah, doggy. The whole thing? Yeah. It says for her weight, she can eat two, two to three of those a day. So we were driving past the hospital, like the big Orlando hospital. And this church has a bunch of signs made and a really nice cross over there. This is so cute. The signs went all the way down there too. So sweet. We're just gonna go on a drive to get out for a little bit. And Peter bought these San Pellegrino lemon raspberry moment. <laughs> it's called a moment. We'll, I'll let you know how they are. look like even like that Tower of Terror sign's not lit up. So much isn't lit up. Spaceship Earth was. Spaceship Earth was and so was the castle. Of the hotels. And Grand Destino is. Yeah. But like the red van for the old DVC advertisement wasn't yeah. spotlighted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which makes sense. It's like it feels really good to be on property but it's like so surreal for it to like not be hustling and bustling. Like the gondolas aren't out. Um, they like pull them off the line. Right and like put it the base. And we've seen a couple of cars. Like there's a car right there. But only on like the busy roads. Because like if you live in Winter Garden but work in Celebration, you would drive yeah. through property. Through, yeah. It would be the quickest way. It's weird. It's like dark. It's just weird. Okay, so you can see the heart in the Contemporary and then the Mickey in uh, Bay Lake Tower. So hated Mickey. And not lit up Space Mountain. She missed us dearly. You, you cannot have wafers. We got you special dinner treat. Look at all these. I also got the special. I asked Peter for a gas station vanilla wafer. They come in packs of like six. And instead he gave them with every flavor. 30 ounces worth. Hey girl. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm gonna replay the snoring. What are we up to now? Just put it on the Newsies theatrical production. Oh, yeah. Relive our um, festival of the arts. And I think this is starring Jeremy Jordan. Man, we used to watch this movie every night when we lived at your mom's. Yeah. We did. And Jeremy Jordan's is. Jeremy Jordan's. Jeremy Jordan is a friend of one of our friends here. Who says we want to meet Quiet? I feel like I would have been a thriving newsie. I think I have a lot of confidence in myself. <laughs> I just like feel like I would have been a good newsboy. Just as much as I feel like I would have been a good barista. I think ben, or... ben Earhart would agree with that. I think Ben Earhart would have been a good newsie too. <laughs> you guys could be an unstoppable team. I'm crotchy. <laughs> ben, you can be Jack Kelly. I think you're all that and a bag of crackers. <laughs> It is before midnight on a Saturday, but we are going to bed. Sarah's been asleep for a little bit. He's been asleep for a little bit. I did not have the best time to sleep last night because of the movie or watching the TV show. And tomorrow's going to be a long day. A lot of food, a lot of relaxing, a lot of movies. But I'm also doing a really long run in the morning. So we're going to go to bed now because tomorrow's going to be... A big long day. If you're watching this today, we posted Happy Easter, Happy Sunday, Happy just day for everybody. Um, let's do this message. Okay, here we go, April 11th. Today's quote is by Friedrich Nietzsche. Nietzsche? Amor fati, love your fate, which is in fact your life. Ooh, you know we love that at the Brookhart Project. And with that, I'm going to keep it clean and simple. Love your fate. Love your life. It is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>